Um, I was working on my doctorate in clinical psychology in 1990. Uh, I went from 98 to 92 at the program that's now the George Fox program. 2002? Did you go back? From 92. No, no, no. From uh, 1988 to 1992. Oh, I was out there when it transitioned. So, when did you write the book with Dr. Small? It was probably 96. Okay. So, it, it was at a time, uh, Dr. Trent is one of those that has done just a masterful job over the, sorry, I can age you a little bit, over the decades to really bring a professional orientation of um, what we know about relationships and to bring that into the context of the church and family relationships. And, uh, you know, it, it's been uh, really kind of a, a privilege to be alongside of that journey. And you, you've opened some doors for my generation, which we kind of share, but this generation, I think, um, needs to understand you did a lot to open the doors for churches to be willing to have us come in and do our thing as psychologists and counselors. So, um, just on that front, I think we're glad to have you. We, we want to hear from you about the blessing and your current work, your present work, and about yourself. So I'm just going to turn it over to you, and you got us wherever you need to take us. All right, well, thank you very here. much. Um, well, uh, hey, uh, I, this is everybody that it's the end of the semester, and everybody that had to check off one more thing to come uh, in one of your classes as an elective or something, and. Uh, but hopefully somebody's here uh, just because they uh, want to be instead of they uh, have to be. But I bring you greetings from the great state of Arizona. Who's been to Arizona? Who's been there in August on purpose? Okay. And everybody says, what? It's a dry heat. Well, so is your oven. Okay. So, um, but uh, I uh, um, grew up in Scottsdale, Arizona in a single parent home. So my mom and dad divorced when I was two and a half months old. I never met my dad until I was in high school. When I did meet my dad, he was an angry alcoholic, and I used to hate my dad. And then I became a Christian. Uh, I was a godless pagan in the 60s, and um, when I finally came to know Christ, I hated my dad for a long time, and then I just intensely disliked him. And, uh, and then I realized, yes, you have to forgive him. What's with that? And so, um, so what you'll hear tonight is really kind of a construct that comes out of, I think you teach best what you most need to know. And so when I began um, studying this and then teaching it and then writing about it, and now we just launched a few months ago uh, a big deal of focus on the family for really, again, folks your age to really understand this biblical concept that we really believe can be just nothing short of life changing. So I'm gonna pray, we'll jump in there, and here we go. Lord, thank you for your love. Thank you for each person here. I know they've got their minds just have to be in so many places with, you know, finals coming up and the thought of going home and so to sit for a period of time and soak in more things. Uh, you're going to have to do just some great things. But I pray you would shove aside just a little bit of space so that they're really uh, open and willing uh, to understand how incredibly powerful, how unleashing it can be when we choose to bless others, and Lord, how amazingly damaging it is, and why a lot of us are, you know, stay employed in the American family area when people miss the blessing. So we'll talk on both sides, but thank, most of all, we'll, we're so grateful that you indeed reverse the curse and can really put us on a path that leads towards you and life and blessing. So teach us about that tonight, the next little bit of time, it's in your precious name we pray, and all God's people said. Amen. Well, um, now here's what I'm getting at. What if you could really unleash somebody and just come on in, grab the chair. If you're late, you have to sing. Come on in. No, I'm just kidding. You have to sing. Um, but um, but uh, I, I want to just explain to you or show you. It's always easier. Show and tell is really easier um, to do. But here's a guy who... Uh, is when we end tonight, I'm going to challenge you to take a step, and that's to uh, literally do something that this guy's dad did for him, and that we're calling people to do all over the country. Um, but take a look at this, and uh, uh, this is a mat, so it has to work out there.
moved it to your desktop. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. 